unlock it. Sales professionals often ask me what format is best to use when sending a proposal digitally. And while it may seem like a good idea to send a locked document as a way of protecting intellectual property, I think it's almost always better to send proposals as an unlocked PDF. Why PDF? Because you can't guarantee that your recipient's machine has all the fonts you used. The PDF will portray your document the way it appeared on your own computer screen, rather than having one of your fancy fonts replaced by a generic font like Courier, which would make your document look more like a ransom letter from the 70s than a proposal. Moreover, have you ever made the mistake of sending a Word document to your prospect only to discover that someone in your office forgot to accept all changes after using the proposal you sent your prospect's competitor as the template for this proposal? Yikes. And why unlocked? Ideally, the person to whom you send the proposal will circulate it broadly to other decision makers in the chain. You took the time to create perfectly worded prose, making it easy for your prospect to copy and paste that prose directly into a management memo or capital budgeting request, reduces the amount of work you're expecting your prospect to do, while increasing the probability that the proposal will be approved. Besides, let your prospect take the credit for having written it. They might earn a pat on the head or even a performance bonus at the end of the year. In most cases, the person to whom you send your proposal is not really getting approval for you. They're getting approval to do the project. Ultimately, it doesn't matter whether your persuasive language is attributed to you or to the person passing your message along internally as long as it does the trick, right? Once your internal champion gets approval, he'll come back to you and say, great, we got the project approved.